Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to make these three cool shapes right inside of Figma. The other day I was on Twitter and I saw this tweet over here from this gentleman asking whether or not anyone knows how to achieve this effect inside of Figma. And I've also come across similar effects on one of my favorite companies called 37 Signals. This is essentially their logo. So if I go to their website, you can see they use this shape as their logo. And I wanted to see if I could sort of replicate these inside of Figma. So if I go back to Figma over here, you can see how I've got the 37 Signals shape over here and I've achieved something similar to what this gentleman was after. And I wanted to share this tutorial with you guys to walk you through building similar shapes inside of Figma. Although they look complicated, they're actually much easier to do than you think. It's essentially a combination of a few simple shapes and the usage of a tool inside of Figma called Union. The way that you access Union is I'm going to grow two shapes, select both. And when you select both of the shapes, you get this Boolean groups and union selection. That's essentially what we're going to use to implement every single one of these shapes over here. I still do not have the new UI. I've got the old UI. Inside of the old UI, when you select both shapes, you get the option up here. On the new UI, I have saved it on my Spacedoc account. When you select both shapes, you should get it on the right hand side panel over here. And it's essentially the same tool. Let's get started. For the first shape, I'm going to copy it and paste it here. We essentially need one rectangle and one triangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle by pressing R on my keyboard and I'm going to size it 40 by 40. And I'm also going to copy this. I'm holding down the option key on Mac and essentially clicking and dragging. And I'm going to make this half the width of the other one. And I'm going to copy this again and I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to go with 40 width and 20 height. Using these three shapes, you can now create something like this. So how does it work? I'm going to select all of my shapes and I'm going to change the border radius to 40. I'm going to change the color to white and let's get to work. I'm going to move this guy up and we are going to draw all of these circles first. So the first circle is on top. I'm going to hold down the option key on Mac. You could also just do command and control C, command and control V. And I'm going to drag to the right until I get to the distance of 12. I'm going to do another one underneath distance of 12. Great. I'm going to do another one underneath distance of 12, 12, and 12. There we go. Next, I'm going to grab this shape, this pill shape, and essentially just move it there. I want to make sure that I have the same distance, 26, 26, top and bottom. And I also want to make sure that these are exactly centered. And I'm going to repeat this again for the bottom shape. So 26, 26, I'm holding down option as I hover over these circles to see the distance. And then I'm going to grab this shape and essentially do the exact same thing. So 26, 26, 10, 10, 10, 10. There we go. Perfect. Then I'm going to select all of these, excluding these two circles and go to my Boolean groups and select union selection. Great. Next, I'm going to give this a border radius of 40. And just like that, we now have essentially the 37 signals logo. If you want this to be scalable and you no longer want to edit this any further, what you could do is to select all of your shapes, press either command E on your keyboard or right click and just go flatten. When you do that, now these are no longer individual shapes and they are just one simple shape, which makes them much easier to scale down, scale up, do whatever that you want to do with. So I'm going to delete this and we're going to place this at the center of the page and let's move on to the next shape. Shape number two, let's copy it across. This is essentially just as easy to do. Again, I'm going to draw a rectangle tool over here, 40 by 40. That's one shape that we need. We're going to need this four times and I'll just explain to you why in just a second. I'm going to select all of these squares and give them a border radius of eight. 
you always want to give your border radius individually to the shapes before you turn them into a union. Because when you apply border radius to your shapes after you add them to the union, then you would be doing the action to the entire shape, not just to individual ones. Then I'm going to select each of these and I'm going to press enter on my keyboard, which allows me to now individually manipulate this shape. I'm going to select these corners and I'm going to remove the border radius and I'm going to repeat this. Great, so now I've got this. Next, what I need is another rectangle, which is going to be 40 by 80. I'm not going to give this one any border radius. And last, I need another rectangle, which is 10 in width by 40 in height. And we're going to need four of these. I'm going to select everything and make everything white. And let's get to work. So first things first, what you wanna do is to place this rectangles on top of this rectangle like this. Then I'm going to select them individually. The first one's gonna be 45 degrees. The second one is going to be negative 45 degrees. The bottom one is going to be negative 135. And this other bottom one is going to be 135. Then I'm going to grab them and move them inside of this rectangle. And I'm going to move it around until I reach 26 and 26 from each side. And I'm going to repeat this process. So 26 and 26, close enough. I'm gonna do a similar thing here, 26 and 26. Don't worry about, don't worry about it if it's not exactly. There we go. All right, once you have your rectangles aligned, next I'm going to grab these ones and I'm going to place them around these rectangles and I'm going to align it to the larger rectangle over here at 16 by 16 for every single one of these guys. So 16 by 16. And there we go, 16 by 16, 16 by 16, great. And once I do that, I'm going to select everything, select union selection and start adding my border radius. And just like that, you've got the second shape. I'm going to delete the old one. Then I'm going to right click and flatten or just command or control E on your keyboard. Cool. Now I have two shapes, both can be scaled down or up. Now shape number three, Let's grab this, paste it over here. The way that I've done this shape, it's essentially a combination of the star shape. First, I'm going to select the star shape by going to shapes and then star. Clicking over here, I'm going to change the count to four. I'm going to change this to 30. Then I'm going to change the border radius to three. And I'm going to change the border radius here to 32. Essentially, I get this. Then I'm going to copy this across until I reach 75 distance equal. And I'm going to repeat this two more times. And in a similar fashion, I want to reach 75 from there as well. And I'm going to repeat this again. Again, I'm going to delete this down here, select everything, go to union. I now have my shape. I'm going to change this to 40. And just like that, I've got my final shape. I'm going to press Command E or Control E on my keyboard to flatten it down. And that is the final shape. All right, that's all of these shapes. As you can see, just using the Union tool and a bunch of simple shapes, you can achieve really cool patterns inside of Figma. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this video was sponsored by Space Talk, which is my own company. More about this sponsor now. Thanks for watching. Spacetalk is the research and knowledge tool I wish I had as a designer. As designers, we constantly juggle research, hold numerous meetings, manage stakeholders, learn new skills, and more. This is where Spacetalk comes in, a comprehensive ecosystem of research and thinking tools that bring everything together into one place. Capture anything you want for a very specific project or any item that you want to come back to at a later time, simply by using our browser extension. Every item that you capture is automatically titled, tagged, and embedded within the library, allowing you to search for it later in a way that aligns with the way that you think. Additionally, everything that you captured is treated according to its type. Save an image and the colors are extracted. Save a PDF and the content is searchable. Save an article and you get a reader-friendly mode. 
save a YouTube link and you get the YouTube preview. You can also customize your environment based on your research needs. For example, when working on a project for a client, you can create categories to organize similar content and add custom properties based on your use case. So for example, you can see how I have all of these custom data attached to this component. In the same way, you could do the same thing for your customers. This is a profile on Alina, but she is also attached to a customer interview that I've done with Alina, which has a relationship of added her as a customer. And this is the customer interview that I've done with her, all within one place, all searchable. You can then consolidate everything in spaces to create a focused project environment. Set up workflows to track your work, like this, and invite clients and contributors to collaborate with you on a project. Of course, this is just one use case, but there are many ways to use Space Talk to capture content, research, inspiration, learning materials, and more, and then later use it within your projects. Give it a try today, and thank you for supporting this channel.